The t shirt. Yeah. You get him. No. You get him. No. I, if I was going to get him, I'd probably get the two in the middle. Okay, here you go. What? Really? You don't want them? Of course, man. When you benefit from your trip, man, you got to like raise funds. You're poor. <laughs> poor Australian comes to America, can't get back, driving into his luxury van. <laughs> he drives around in this souped up luxury mini Commonwealth cabin on wheels. <laughs> So Dave's taken us to a mall because he wants a pretzel and we're at Auntie Anne's. He reckons they're meant to be good pretzels. Are they good pretzels? Yes, they're very good pretzels. Are you going to get one though? No, I'm not. Uh, for um, the good gal. Yeah. Have a, have a look at this. Take one. You can try it. There it is. Little bits of pretzel. Little bits of pretzel. This is bread. Yeah. Cheese dip in the mustard. Oh. So you're really not eating it right. Okay. Get the honey mustard and you dip it. And okay. I will say that that improved the taste. Even this Lakers jumper is really cool. I don't know. I've never heard of this before. How much is it? 110. Okay. Look at all these hats, guys. You know how much I love my hats. My goodness. Look at these, the embroidery, 50 years, Boston Celtics, $36, that's like 50 bucks Australian, so you can't do anything with that, but just out of, oh man, I would, if I thrifted any one of these hats, it would make my entire trip. Oh, hold on, what's this? Roll the dice, matching green tag number. Grow your Aussie audience. He'll have you in it. You'll be, you'll be, you're, currently, you're currently tagged in description below. That's it. Thumbnail now. American sucker. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Are Americans really that dumb? Yes. American, American news is life-saving. <laughs> On $30 baseball card. <laughs> Are American, you think that's the way they're going to think? I'll prove them wrong. Hey, I want to do one of these spin things. <laughs> yeah. 20 or 100? 100. Wow. We're doing the $100 spin. Hundred dollars today, huh? Like, what does he want to see on the dice? Well, whatever it adds up to. Usually, the lower stuff and the higher stuff is the best to get. A lot, like, anything in the 30s is, is usually pretty mainstream. I would say the lower numbers and the higher numbers have a little bit better stuff because those are the hardest ones probability-wise to get. Okay. All right, so what do we want to do? One dice at a time? Yeah. Everything, anything, anything, build the suspense. anything Yeah, this build the suspense. Is what you're eligible for. First number? 12. 12. Four more 12s, you're Oh, Where to go? Yeah. That's a, a seven. You want to keep it or re-roll? Re-roll. 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 Re Twelve. Oh. Right. oh. One. One. Five. Nine. That's a six. The numbers on the dots on the bottom. That's a six. So that's twenty-five. He's off Freddy and it goes reverse. Get at least a nine. Get at least <laughs> thirty-one. Plus seven. seven. Thirty-eight. 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 38 What's thirty-eight? What'd you win? Big box of baseball cards. Hobby oh, box. that's not bad. It's $110. And what do you think, Carrie? I want Carrie's reaction. Not bad at all. He's a card man. I would guess at my card shop, probably about 80 bucks. 80? 75, 80. Okay. But they're also cheap. My card boxes are cheap. Oh. All right, 14, 24. 27, 38. 38. You just got a 38. What are you guys doing? That could be good then, Dave. 38. Yeah. $30 box. Nice. That's what I want. $30 box and you spent 20. It's going to be more than 20 at the store. So yeah. Hey. 11, 19 plus 3 is 22. That was a 3, sorry. 30. 30. 30. What do I got? Ooh. Stack of rookie autos. Oh. Dang, I'll take it. Really? I love the all, all leaf stuff. All NFL. Nolan Smith. Not bad. Philadelphia Eagles. Bell. Not bad. Stewart. Corey Sutton. Ruckert. He's on uh, the Jets, I think. Tay Martin. Smoke Monday. Best name ever. <laughs> Drink Smoke Tuesday. Monday. <laughs> Smoke every day, buddy. Ellis Brooks. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. If anybody Good wants player. to do a roll, we have a three minute special. Oh. $15 roll. Whoever wants to do it. I'll do Just it. Just because we got him. <laughs> yeah, Ozzy got him. Got him. $15 roll. That's perfect because he's from Australia, so that's basically 20 oh, bucks that's for him. Hilarious. Aussie luck. Aussie luck. What do we got? All right, 8, 10, oh, 16, 17, 29. 29. 29. Nah, 29. Nah. You get a stack of Shaq cards. Oh, Ooh, Shaq. Is. Rookie, rookie, rookie. It's like $30, $40 worth of rookies. Not bad. Nice. Not bad. What do you reckon? I'm happy with that. Dope. Yeah, I bet you that's, a, that's one you had to send in for back in the day, a trade card. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. 
Was, Not bad for yeah, 15 yeah, I bet bucks. You those, I bet you those would You made your money back then just now. That's awesome, man. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you guys. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. This, this thing keeps me busy, believe me. <laughs> well, um, we'll tag the store in the videos, man. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Later. Later. Thanks, man. Made our way into a TJ Maxx. And you can get some opportunities in here. You can actually thrift some items. Um, well, not thrift, but you can flip some items. Um, so I'm just going to have a look for the menswear and try and find some like Looney Tunes tees or something like that because they I've done well with them last year. Just need to try and find them though. These Americans just teasing me. Oh, this is cool. Corduroy Cores hat for nine dollars. Yep. Miller High Life. It's just the one. No wonder it's just the one. See that? That's dope. Is that flippable for you? Oh, massively, yeah. Corduroy. Ten bucks. I reckon maybe forty or fifty. Even being like new. Yeah. Brand new course. Nice. Yeah, that would do well. Yeah, corduroy embroidered. Just found this jersey. There's the only only one jersey in store, but it's sixty down to forty dollars, which is about fifty Australian. So size medium, brand new with tags. Carson Wentz, Washington Commanders, size medium. I don't know, you could almost maybe, maybe sell it for, I don't know, 90 maybe in Australia, considering it's brand new. But I don't think I want to pay 50 to make 90. We can do better deals than that. Everyone loves Goosebumps. $10, size large, all over, tie-dye. I'm sure that stuff doesn't get out there. We don't see that sort of stuff. Someone's going to want that. And there's only one of them left, so it shows that it was popular. Waffle House. Waffle time. Waffle time. It is better than a stick in the eye. Okay. My wife's favorite thing is one of those like. You sure? They're a big size. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. You can buy all of them. You can buy all of them. I'm all right, thank you. Appreciate it. So today the crew is going around and doing some thrifting um, to try and find some stuff and then we've got a private pick lined up for one o'clock today and then we're just filming a bunch of content after that. I think uh, the guys have got the Trash to Cash podcast and then uh, Kevin wants to do an interview with Mel and I as well. So hopefully we can find some stuff this morning and then we'll make some videos this afternoon. Found these at the bins the other day in LA for those of you who caught that video. I paid... What's that? Does that mean eight? V11? Yeah, eight. Eight dollars. I think in the bins I paid about two dollars. So we'll leave those. Woodpecker Ridge. Woodpecker Ridge Nature Center. On a best, best tag. XL. Single stitch. Back hit with the Woodpecker Ridge. I don't mind that. I like that. It's cool finding these single stitch. We've got this single stitch here too that Mike found. Trogan Country, Cave Creek Canyon, Portal, Arizona. Just uh, just playing on the back. What do you got there? Raven Pocket Tee, Virginia Beach. I like that. Large back head. I like that. Same thing, single stitch. Yeah. On a Raven Tag, Virginia Beach, oh, made in the USA. That's a cool tee. Mike's a picker over there. Yeah, Mike's actually... Oh, this one. oh that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Virginia Tech. The t-shirt guy. <laughs> that's good. That's good you get him. No. You get him. No. I, if I was going to get him, I'd probably get the two in the middle. Okay, okay, there you go. What? Really? You don't want them? Of course, man. When you benefit from your trip, man, you got to, like, raise funds. You're poor. <laughs> poor Australian comes to America, can't get back, driving into his luxury van. <laughs> luxury. I'm not you laughing, but I'm not kidding, young lady. Really? <laughs> he drives around in this souped up luxury mini commonwealth cabin on wheels <laughs> got two teas here so far this dunder mifflin office tea is pretty fun scott and shrewd double xl homage tag made in mexico that one's five dollars and this is five dollars as well it's just a coliseum men's large florida state but i love the college ear and this one's super clean as well um so yeah don't know if i'll pay it because it's about seven dollars australian but um Two pretty cool finds out of this rack. We've just found all of these though, which are kind of cool. We've got the Virginia Tech T, 150 year homecoming number plate 
that one there. It's $10 though. It's a size large, long sleeve, but $10 is like $13 for us. So I'm probably gonna have to leave that. Um, got this one as well. Dallas Cowboys, long sleeve, size medium. Uh, again though, $10, I can't do it. And then this one, we've spoken about this before, but this Vineyard Vines is a really good brand. Size small, long sleeve, cool little pattern there. And then a big, big Happy Holidays Vineyard Vines on the back. But guys, $10. We need these for like $2.50, right? That's what we were paying for these two single stitches. And that's actually all we ended up with. See you later. Bye. American Arbitrage over here, just finding absolute gold. Disco to be video. Fair, you found this, man. No, no, that was you. I saw you pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Got the DVD VR VCR combo, the VR three nine three zero. Comps on eBay two hundred and seventeen dollars. And what are you paying? Five bucks. Five bucks. It's almost like you found it for me. I don't think I did. I don't remember that. Foggy memory. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead with these. Got the Air Max ninety fives. Only seven dollars, which is ten dollars in Australia. And I reckon we can get, given the condition, there's a little bit of wear. You see a little bit of wear on the heel there. But I'm gonna shoot for maybe 50 to 60. Not bad when it's 10 bucks. Got some more of this um, Washington Redskins gear. I don't know if it's gonna sell well. Don't know if you can actually list it safely on eBay, but it's a double XL as well. So that's two now. There's two. That's kind of cool. You wouldn't buy that, Dave? That one I might get there. You get a long really good on my uh, Who on whatnot. Although, you'd have to tell me, is that Redskins or Seminoles? That's Redskins. Yeah, yeah that sounds good, good on my, uh, on my yeah, whatnot. That's Redskins too. Yeah, I would sell both those. Nice. Yeah. I took some time to do some actual digging, guys, and I came away with a few really cool items here. We've got the Chicago Bears t-shirt, genuine Nike merchandise, only paying the $4.79, so I think it's worth going ahead with. This Dabinum Cam Newton tee, Through the Loom, I thought that was a pretty cool tee, and then I also found this as well. We've got, um, who are these guys? Oh, that's right, Beavis and Butthead. We never see this stuff in Australia. Very cool. Also got this one as well, Carhartt. This is a long sleeve. Carhartt sells so well in Australia. You can pick it up so commonly over in the US. So I grabbed that. Then we've got a champion, North Carolina uh, sweater there as well on the champion. So that was pretty epic. I'll always pick that stuff up. Tommy Bahama, this was a really nice sweater as well. Uh, a decent size there, size large. I should get about 35, 40 for that one. I had to pick up this, just a big America print, USA. I thought I'd grab that, looked fun. Uh, just love the big all over prints that you see so commonly here in the US. Uh, through the loom tag there and this was a local high school team uh, the dukes jmu um, thought that was cool too so we made it to kevin's house the commonwealth cabin guys there it is the famous cabin and this is it this is what we've got wow so first of all this is the base set, which is not the most impressive, but it okay. is obviously still good. But mm -hmm. we were looking through this stuff, mm -hmm. so I'll give you that. Wow, he brought even more stuff, because that wasn't there either. Yeah, yeah, I brought all that as well. Now, I'm no Pokemon expert here, so mm -hmm. I don't know nothing. So, except for I know the base set, that's what I know. Do you know that Oh, one? my gosh. You know that one? Are you kidding me? You too. Oh, my gosh. Venusaur. A lot of Japanese hollows. Wow. Blastoise. Yeah. Uh, so this is where it began, did it? Well, it started just with my phone right here, and it was static, and it just filmed from about where that cabinet is to here, and it never moved because I didn't want to film all this stuff. So, yeah. But visually from here, it looks good. That's, Incredible. That's where you made all your videos. Every single one. Did yeah. you ever list this? Yeah. Look at the stuff in here. Hey, <laughs> some amazing it's not stuff. Not sold yet? <laughs> no. Wow. Are you still recording? So I am recording. I wanted to tell a story, but you had to stop recording. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, can, I remember I'm the this editor doll. as well. This doll. <laughs> plan is to completely do redo this whole thing. Is it's it? going to be like an 80s room. Okay. You, you show all this? I, yeah. I only show. Back in the day, you it, did all the time. It showed from about right here yeah. to about halfway on that cabinet at an angle. And so it looked really, really good in the video. You don't bring them in here now in your videos? I don't, but only because I want to redo it. I, my plan is to make this another place to film, yeah. like a different segment of the show. Like when the kids come on, have them come in here. Yeah. But this whole thing is going to be redone, and it's going to be 
I'm gonna make a VHS wall that probably comes out and then hides this. And then all the VHS, the ones that I like, not all of those, some of them are garbage. I'm gonna put like plexiglass and the whole wall will be made out of VHS. Yeah. And then all this will get redone and then put like, you know, vintage video game systems, TV consoles with VCRs with stuff playing. And it's gonna be a quite a project. It will be. But it's just when you get when you get the time though, right? We'll have a third place to film, so it's not all in the same place. Mm -hmm. For now it's just a work. Is it all listed? Uh, everything in here is listed. Yeah, yeah cool. Oh, this is this is amazing. How much land have you got? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably an acre. An acre? Yeah, no clue. You've never mowed How many all. dead bodies are under the shed? Look at this. We're in the cabin. <laughs> we are in the cabin. Wow. Wow, it's huge. It actually looks a lot smaller in real life. No, it looks huge. It's the it fish eye lens or some. It's the GoPro lens. <laughs> you film this whole room, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. film everything. In everything. Here. In here. Everything in here is listed. Everything's listed. Wow. Yeah, except for some things on the walls, like some of the pictures and records. But everything, like all this, is listed. What? Everything in here is listed. Twenty twenty-five bucks. What's your most prized possession in here? Ooh, I know in the house. I really don't. I, I keep See some of those there? inside. So nothing right. in here is nothing in here is personal. Hold on. <sighs> This right here is probably my most priced. Well, I tell you what, that's tough. Here's one's not for sale. Yep. Rod picking and punching gave me this. I love that. And that came from Mike, um, Golden State Picker. He wow. made that for me. That's so. incredible. Front and center in the Thank room too. Dave, so Dave gave me nothing in here. What would the value of this be? I gave you my heart. That's actually uh, some kids made that. That's a. Oh. That's not a. Not uh, a genuine. No, uh, they did it with a 3D printer. Wow. So, but I get asked about that more than any other item in here. I would, I would imagine. Thing. Yeah, I would imagine. I, I have never said I wanted to buy it. I said <laughs> I'm giving you enough shit. <laughs> Jeez. Me... But you know, I, you know, the whole idea we we designed the thing to really be functional and to put put merch on display. <laughs> all this is listed inventory. I don't use the SKU system at all. No. Um, How do you go? People think I do because of this. I just put like items in like places. Right. And Does it take you a while, or you reckon you're pretty quick? It depends. Every once in a while, I struggle, but most time, it's I, I know where stuff's at pretty good. Let me turn the AC off for a second. But <laughs> yeah, I'm a ducking. He's gonna hit his head in here, just <laughs> FYI. But, I am ducking. I, you know, some places to put some long stuff and posters and yeah. It's you know we have merch back here, so Reagan when she goes to ship you know t-shirts and stuff, she knows where to find stuff. Knows where to find it. Yep. So are you in charge of then picking? When uh, something sells, because you yeah, wouldn't be able to pass that on to anyone else. Absolutely, yeah. Do it. So I don't have an Aussie flipper sticker. No, because so I know I don't don't have stickers, don't Kevin. Have stickers. No. You need to have them. I'm gonna make one and send you yeah, one. We're gonna get those on there. That's awesome. All this is storage up here. We put boxes up there and bubble wrap and all that stuff. Yeah, you got a lot of shipping supplies, which is good. Which is, I'm kind of short. You could just reach up there and grab it. I could. I use a ladder. You just let me know what you need over the next couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do many as many books as Mel does, but I do a few books. You do a few books. I do fucking like books too. And stuff. Yeah, I have a few books yeah what's your best seller Oof. i don't really have a best seller. no best category not really no I just mean, a bit of a mixed bag just kind of a mix you're a collectibles man though yeah you'd, you'd say collectibles do your best wow look at that oh people sign it yeah patriot picker sign it oh my gosh this is the very first one wow we got to get brandon in here all right all right you good to go kevin yeah go ahead all right well, there we go. Yeah, I have people sign it. This this side over here is uh, probably got more room, so I should have had you do it over there. But a lot of privilege. Got a bunch of people in here. So put the date on there. Oh yeah. Does that remember the thirteenth? Well, you guys go eight well, thirteen, don't you? Eight thirteen twenty three. Yep, got that. And then Mel can sign it. I turn the AC off so it's a little better for audio in here, but it's getting hot already. Shed number two. Put my 30 bucks into this. Oh, it's cool in this one. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Single stitch racing tees. There's a bed there. A bed there. No way. He's got a little TV up there. And he paid $10 for it at a garage sale. It's got $10 price sticker still on it. No way. <laughs> what did he say? He's got a TV with a $10 price tag. Is this like, was this a rage thing? Kevin was locked in here by Heather and he was trying to escape. <laughs> Let's write a whole backstory this about this. Yeah, who, what's, I want to know the story of this. Hey, is, this is this where Mark's sleeping? <laughs> I wonder if it, someone probably is. 
What's the story with the bed, Kev? Uh, it's when I misbehave. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. So many cool things. Like, this is the sort of stuff that I would want to find. Like, look at this. That's a local team, I think. Bunch of jerseys he's got. Look at this. He's got some... He's got a bunch of Philadelphia Eagles jerseys. Carson Wentz there. Like, I come over to America to try and find this sort of stuff. And Kevin... Kevin has it in abundance. He's got so many good connections over here in the US. He's been doing this for a very long time now. And to be able to kind of just spend, what, well, I've got two, two and a half days over here in Virginia with him. And then to get a bit of alone time in his cabin, it's a pretty surreal moment, guys. Kevin's a great guy. He's very switched on. He knows what he's doing. And this is like, like imagine having this set up, right? Just out the back. He's got all of his stock, all of his in inventory, all of this he was saying yesterday is for sale uh, and all the rest that he's got in the other shed, which is just over here, uh, that's all of his death pile stock. So super organized individual, knows what he's doing. This has been a lot of fun. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Gee. What size is it? Small. This is the size of the plate. No. Here's your slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is was this was my biggest concern coming over to America is food portion size. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this though. There we go. Portion size. Dinner is served. <laughs> that is insane.